Hello everyone, this is a continuation video of for each method on array object that we discussed in the last video. So here we are going to do a little modification on how to make uh, this for each method more readable and we are going to explore uh, one more parameter called this arc. It's an another argument that was accepted by this for each method that we are going to discuss in this video. So let's see how to do that. So first one we are going to make it more readable. This for each looks something more complex. So let's see how to take that out and replace that with a variable. So you can do that very easily. Just cut this one and create a new variable. Let's say callback function and assign this function to this variable so now all you need to do is copy this variable and paste it here it will do the same thing so let me delete the one so it appended the title mister to all the employee and the age of the employee also incremented by two when compared to the original one so it's doing the same thing and by doing this you're making the for each method more readable so let's discuss about this org that's another parameter that you can pass on the for each method this org accept an array object so you can pass this array object here but there is no need because uh, you can access this array in the callback function itself so you can effectively use this org if you want to modify this data with another array so here we have an array called array2 so let's see how to combine this array with this range so if you see there are four employee here so this is our output i will delete that there are four employee here uh, let me add on more fruit called lemon or something okay so i'm going to assign each fruit to one of the employee here so i have to pass this array2 as this argument on my for each method so i'm going to take out this argument and arc2 so if I want to access data of uh, this org, I can make use of a keyword this. For example, Mr. John, this element in the first iteration, it's going to access the very first row. So Mr. John, let's say likes this. So this of index so mr. John basically likes this is referring to this array 2 and index referring to 0 during the first iteration so 0 array 2 of 0 for the kiwi fruit so mr. John likes kiwi and in the second iteration it should print Mike mr. Mike likes grape so if you want to so if you want to create an array using two array then you, you can effectively use this org parameter in the for each method so let's execute this and see how it works so just print out put in the way we want so that's all about this video thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care